What's going on guys? Welcome to Living in Country. Today I'm going to be kind of taking over a little bit of this video with featuring my wife behind the camera. This is kind of new for once. So today we're going to be uh, ship flapping this one section in the kitchen. Uh, since everyone's basically quarantined and it's a nice beautiful day, I want to get some projects done and plus it's the weekend so it's the perfect time to do it. I want to show you guys what I got. If you guys watched in a few videos that Holly did ago about how to get sh uh, free ship flap, let me show you guys some of the pieces that I got today. So, um, what ho one thing Holly mentioned, up here babe. Sorry. <laughs> One thing Holly mentioned uh, in the video is that there's usually a section in the store of discounted pieces of wood, but just because it's not there doesn't mean you can't get it discounted. So uh, this shiplap was in the original spot where you where you buy it, but I noticed that there was damages on it. So for instance, if you look at this one right here, this has a nice big chunk out of it. That one just has that corner piece out of it. This one right here was just lightly cracked. That's the only spot right there, which you don't even really see. So. So these are 16 footers, which they're almost $18 each. And luckily I went to some young guy that works in the store and I asked him how much do they have to be damaged in order to get the discount. And he was able to come over and basically paint them saying that this is 70% off. So just that little bit of damage that you guys actually see right here is all you need to get the 70% off, which is perfect because this is 16 feet and I only have about seven, eight inches right here off the very edge that basically we can't use. So we still saved a lot of money. So. Anyway, so we got all the ship lock right here. Typically, all the broken pieces are up in front, uh, which is great because when people start filtering through the pieces, uh, they usually put all the broken stuff up in the front and get all the nice stuff in the back. So always look at the stuff in the front, see what's damaged, and then get that discount. Tell us how much you paid for all this. So all this, what should have been well over two, ah, 200 and something bucks, I think came up to about 160 is what it basically came up to with the discount. So. So the 16 footers, like I said, they go for it. Well, this would have been over 500 bucks. No, 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 not 500, no. Because no? I only got six pieces that were uh, the 70% off. Gotcha. So four of the pieces are 16 footers and I got almost $13 off those. Cool. And then I had two eight foot pieces that had a little bit of damage on them as well. And of course I got whatever the 70% off on those prices are, which I think they go for about, ah, they go for about roughly 10 to $12. I forgot what it was, but anyways, we have a little more ship lot right here. And one thing I find that's a little bit easier, at least for us in the house, since we have a lot of furniture preventing taping off, is what I do is I place this all out in the garage and uh, I pre-paint everything first and then I install it and then we patch up the holes and then we'll touch up the paint afterwards. That's a lot better than having to mask and tape off everything in the house so we, we don't have to worry about overspray because we're not rolling this, we're gonna spray it with a gun. So the rolling with the gun gives it, it's a lot smoother finish. Uh, it's a lot. It's a lot easier for me because, like I said, I don't have all this taping to do in the house. Not worry about overspray. So, so we're gonna move these inside. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut most of them to size or like a little bit over what the actual length is. Paint them. Oh, she ran over your foot. Yep. Paint That's them, okay. and then we're gonna get installing them. So, should we go inside and show them what we're gonna get done today? Let's go show. Let's go do it. All right, guys. So we are inside. So, as you guys see right here, we're gonna be doing this whole wall. We didn't want, we wanted to kind of do like an accent wall. And baby, you can kind of talk whenever you want yeah. to anyways. So the idea is, is to kind of do what we did down here, is to run our ship lap and then also trim it out. We just kind of like that look. Some people just kind of do like the seamless transition where it looks like it's one solid piece, which looks really nice. But for me, since I'm not the greatest when it comes to the tools and this kind of woodworking stuff, the trim, it's a lot easier for me to do the trim because it basically covers any mistake that I make. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ship lap all the way up we're gonna trim these pieces out, uh, right there, down. Tell them what you're gonna do up there, just really fast. So what we're gonna be doing is kind of like a headboard, so it's gonna look like, basically it's a header, and it looks like a wood beam. So we're basically gonna make a little wood beam that looks like it's kind of going over there. Really cool, um, seen a few videos on it, so eventually I'll get to that. So I'll maybe even start that tomorrow. It should, shouldn't take too long because it's a small section. Um, but yeah, we're gonna do the ship up, up to that and then we'll either place that over it or I haven't really figured that out yet. We haven't moved that far yet. And then we're gonna go all the way up to the ceiling. We're eventually going to do this hallway with shiplap too. Oh, we but are. yeah, we're gonna continue it. Oh, okay. Um, but we have to wait till we get the upper trim pieces of the doors. We're gonna do a little bit more of a richer look. Um, and then of course we need the trim still. Yeah. So, but that's another day. Trim and doors. Doing, yes, nothing's painted you guys. Yeah, now that summer is coming, uh, with it being a lot drier, I can take all the doors and go paint them in the garage and it will dry really fast during the winter time when it's 30, 40 something degrees, it will take hours for these doors to dry. So that's why I personally wait till a, basically a day like this to do painting because the, uh, hello, 
because it dries a lot faster. So anyways, so we're, like I said, we got to go paint all of our shiplap, pre-paint uh, pre it. That way when we cut it, it's just a lot easier. We only have the nail holes. We can patch those up and then touch up paint after that, which is exactly what we did in Holly's office. It yeah. worked out a lot easier than having to trim off everything, tape off this hallway, tape off all of this stuff in the kitchen. Just Which we did not do that with this. This is not painted. It looks, I mean, it looks great, but it looks so awful compared to my office, which just looks so nice because it's painted. And this one we've had up for maybe like six, eight months and we just have not gotten around to painting it yet. Okay, so hello the mess, but right hello here down- Hello the mess. Hello the mess, hello to the mess, everybody, hello. Um, we've got vitamin, candles, bears, we've got it all. So this is the shiplap we did where we installed it first and then we planned, planned to paint it. It looks so good, but it honestly looks like crap. It looks good in here, but that's because it's- Okay, but then when you go to my office, which that's a mess too, but come on. Um, let's go. Let's go. So you guys kind of get to see the behind the scenes because this is kind of my setup for when I do the videos and then it's a working space back here. But we did the ship lap and Jason painted it before we installed it. So there's still these holes. So, and Yeah, you can see all the little nail holes. And, and so, you guys, I actually love it. I love seeing the holes because back in the day when they had ship lap in homes, there's holes in it. So I wanted kind of that look of almost like it's renovated a little bit. Um, although it's like a brand new I guess you could call it like a fake farmhouse, a faux farmhouse. And one thing about my style is I love the farmhouse look. Do not get me wrong, but I want to go for a more timeless look, which is more of like a rustic farmhouse with accents of country. So I really like those, you know, dark beams. I like white, but I also, as you guys can see from my kitchen, you guys get to see it's quarantine. Kids are home, so it's a mess. Um, but you guys can see I've got that green. It's a sage green cabinets. Um, I love bringing kind of those country rustic colors together with touches of farmhouse. So that's my personal taste. I have manufactured decor. I have vintage antique decor. I combine it together making my own. But let's get to shiplapping. Anything else that you wanted to say about the shiplap before we get installing it? Nope, let's or painting it? Woo! Woo boy! Here's our drop cloth. You guys, I've given Jason a lot of drop cloth from projects that I've done and we really get the max use out of it. So Can we course, step on it? There we go. So of course I'm, I'm doing this so that way when we spray it doesn't get all over the ground. But that's not going to be a big problem because eventually I'm going to seal coat this thing so all the imperfections, all the paint is going to be covered up anyway. So cool. not worried about that. And as you guys can see, this is how I painted Holly's shiplap. Is that when I cut it to length, then I just place it right here and I just spray it going up and down. It's a lot easier than doing it on the floor, so that way I don't have to worry about dust settling on it or anything like that. This is another shiplap wall we did. We did this one with home top. And we decided to make this wall look pretty for when you enter the garage. And eventually, I think once we paint it, because we ended up adding this door, which was never gonna be there. Um, and so we need to paint it still, but I'm gonna decorate the space. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. I wanna make it look tiny. I'm gonna do some hooks and a place for shoes and stuff like that um, to make it just look more at home instead of just shiplap. But that was definitely, um, if I was to go back in time, I would probably use all that shiplap and get it in one of the rooms or the house. Like the garage is the last place probably you'd wanna put shiplap. Nope. Just because it's so valuable. When when you think that? Yeah, it's, it's, it's expensive. Up, it's spruces up the shop or the garage, and especially when we're doing DIY projects like today. Okay, that's true. Is it a nicer background? That makes me feel better. Oh, you guys, this is the trim. And like I said, it's not painted, but this is the upper trim. Can you guys see that? Okay. But that's the upper trim we're doing throughout the whole house, and it's got more of a farmhouse look to it, I think. But I love it. We are done with a little bit. Right? Okay, we're doing something a little different, people. Yeah, because I thought we were going to do this piece. Oh, you're right. Another one underneath. Yeah, you're right. Which means I have to redo that. Yeah, that's what it does mean. So as you guys can see, I got my, my wall here. So I'm going to cut all my pieces, just like I said, a little longer than what the wall actually is. And that way I can set it right here and then paint it. The reason why I'm going to cut them to size first is because, as you guys can see, if they're 8 or 12 feet long, they, they won't reach up that way. And it gets really difficult trying to spray like this. So if I cut everything to length, lay them all out, 
I can just sit there and go one by one and paint them all the way down. It's it's really fast. So we have probably one of the worst paint guns ever. What brand is it, babe? It's this one right here. But not the worst one. It's just that it's pretty bad. It leaves no. It's, it's it leaks marks. out the tip, and there's no way that you can really re just replace it or tighten it up. And so yeah, it just gets loose and. A little frustrating. So Jason's gonna spray first the small pieces that are already pre-cut that were our scraps. Um, did you cut these just and they randomly were this right size or what happened? Nope this was leftover stuff from your project so it's a little bit longer we need like 24 inches these are like a little less than 30 so okay it, it's coming out to a... so rather than cutting them again I'm doing that to dry that up. So we're gonna do these ones first and then we will, when I say we, I think it's because I'm videoing. I'm not really doing anything. Um, but after, I will video Jason. Um, cutting and painting the rest. My favorite part is probably the install part. I like, I like to do that. them to try. What for like 30 minutes maybe? Uh, yeah about 20-30 just to be safe because if, if you touch them before they dry too much then at least the fingerprints everywhere so you just gotta be careful with that. But If it was a cold day it would be much longer. Yeah just like yeah so when I did Holly's office I did that what about a month ago? Month? Yeah, yeah about a month ago. That's crazy. And it was probably months. in the 40s at night and so it took literally all night and it was still somewhat pretty wet in the morning time because we did a couple coats. So anyways, if it's just really cold, just do it. Um, typically you want to try to do it where it's a little bit warmer, but if you can't, just do very thin coats and then that way it dries a little bit faster. But I'm not the expert in paint. I just know from mistakes. Okay, we have our next batch of shiplap ready to paint. What kind of paint are we using? White paint. Oh, white. Yeah, white. sorry, it's a secret. Family. It's farmhouse white. It's a family recipe. It's a family recipe. You heard it, you heard it from Jason himself, a no, family you, recipe. No, you didn't. Okay, so he's cutting the pieces, these pieces for the right side of our wall. So Jason found where the studs are, which we had a picture of us up there, so we knew where two of the studs were. So he just drew lines all the way down so that when he starts installing these, he knows exactly where to, mm -hmm. to nail it in with his nail gun. Plus, if for some reason, like in Holly's office, if we don't uh, fill in the holes right away, if they're lined up perfectly, it looks a lot more peasing than all these like holes all over the place. Did you say peasing? What is the word? A pleasing? A pleasing, a pleasing yeah. right? A a pe <laughs> Can we edit that out, please? <laughs> oh, yeah. What do you mean?
So Jason has been working hard. Here is what the shiplap's looking like so far. He actually took a break from this the other night and installed this wood beam, which we have a video on as well. So when that's up, I will link that. But he's busting away at this wall. Are you gonna start doing the top portion or are you gonna start with the left now? I can't, can't do that top piece until I get this left side done. So I have to fill this in and then I can get my top piece in. Okay, gotcha. We'll check back on him in a little bit. I'm working on the beam video right now. So that's gonna be a good one. Okay, you guys, here is the finished look. Jason has done an abs Oh, well, it's not finished, but the ship lap is finished. I don't know um, if I'll be able to film the trim process just because my battery is about to die. This is what it's looking like, you guys, and I absolutely love it.